What's up guys, how's it going? Big Cheese here with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, my reaction from watching the new, the day before gameplay footage. We got 13 minutes of gameplay footage here guys. Um, I've just watched it and I have decided I'm going to buy the game now based on this footage. A uh, little bit of information I read online, stuff like that. So let's get straight into the trailer guys. Before we do, if you could hit that sub button, hit that like and hit that bell. I'd much appreciate it. Let's go. Okay, let's get into this. Absolutely bust. So psyched. So psyched. I'm Oliver Frost, and this is probably my last radio broadcast. Oh, poor Oliver. So the thing I would say is there was too much noise in the world. Before, it seemed like we were just sleeping in a continuous stream of information and news buying junk that we didn't even need in the old world hmm. i always dreamed of becoming a radio host but i didn't have the courage to stay true to myself and not live the way others expected me to to say on the desk we there you're better something versions of ourselves make breakthroughs and change the world. If we had realized it then, we could have changed many things for the better. And this goddamned Azure initiatives wouldn't have existed. Oh, it would have been nice to come back, change everything. Oh, what was that? I have something for you. Take me back to the time that is over. Take me back to my happy Someone place. Someone coming in the door. To the day before the world ends. To the day before the world ends. Oh, shit. That's all of it done, I guess. Day before. Nice intro. I like that. Enjoy. Oh, here we go. Straight into it. In-game footage, work in progress, it says. Okay. So... The two things I'm noticing straight away are, are the fuel meter at the bottom right. So you're gonna have to keep your truck fueled. And the stats at the bottom left, we've got a snowflake, which would maybe represent how cold you are. A lightning bolt, which may represent how how much stamina you got or energy, and waters the drops obviously thirst. And then you've got your health bar. Actually there's a blue bar under your health, so maybe that's your stamina, and the other one's your I don't know. Maybe your, your flashlight battery, something like that. Car battery, something like this. We don't know. Maybe we'll see in this uh, in this gameplay. But the driving mechanics are how they were getting stuck in the mud there. Very cool. I love that gas station. Man, the vehicle down there smoking. The guy, this guy looks pretty kitted out already. You know, he's got uh, what's an assault rifle, a backpack. Is that another player there with a helmet on? Looks. I'm getting PUBG slash Last of Us vibes straight away. Whoa, Jesus! 
That must be another player over there, right? You're not a very good shot, are you, mate? Will that noise attract more zombies? Or infected, or whatever these things are? He's infected seems to take quite a few bullets to drop one. I think it looked like you hit him in the head there and he didn't drop straight away. That has to be another player over there. This has to be like a co-op. Play through. Loot the cola truck. Okay, so we've got an inventory. Drag and drop style inventory from the looks of it. Nice graphics on everything. Attention to detail all around. Oh, we're going in. Here we go. Okay. Flashlights in the dark. What we love. Uh-oh. That's going to attract attention. Bebsy and Lola Lola are the names of the drinks. <laughs> nice. Just looting up here. It's a shame we haven't got voice from the players. That might have been a shout, I guess, but I guess they're trying to make it as cinematic as possible. Back in the truck? Okay. I would have checked the back or the roof, maybe, but alright. Alright, hold G to repair. Okay, so you've got to maintain your car. Keep it repaired. Let's notice here now, guys. The energy circle and the water circle have gone down the bottom left by a quarter, and those they didn't really do much there. They shot a couple of zombies. So my first reaction would be, oh, how hard is it going to be to keep those meters full, and how much of a pain in the ass is it going to be to do so? We're heading out. We're heading out. Keep it on that fuel gauge. Definitely go one at a time over that, fellas. <laughs> the thing is, as well, the description of this game is an MMO. So, mass multiplayer online, how does it work with other players? And, like... Stuff like that. Where are we getting out by here? Ooh, a house, okay. And ran to the fence making noise. Who is this person? Seriously. I got vaccinated. 
<laughs> That's fitting, isn't it? Oh, zombies. Right, so these guys are sneaking right now, so we know there are stealth mechanics, and we can go through undiscovered. We, we always want that in a survival game. We always want the option to go stealth and not just clear them out, right? I wonder if they got executions. They have to have executions, right? The stealth killing zombies. So far, guys, this kind of looks like Last of Us. Like co-op. The co-op Last of Us. I don't know how the story holds up, obviously, but the combat and everything looks like Last of Us. Definitely. He's in. Oh. The, the alarm's going off. The alarm's going off. Get out. We can guess the code. Get the fuck out of there. Oh, wow. Okay. There's your buddy. You need to have plenty of ammo. Oh no, he's only got two clips left now. See, I would have taken position up away from the house and then draw the zombies in and then kill them. But it doesn't look like it's a horde of zombies we have to be worrying about here. Because Maybe because they're so out in the open, they're, they're so out in the middle of nowhere. There's a barn over there. This person's either a terrible shot or... So, this person's either a terrible shot, or the recoil on the guns is very hard to control. Maybe because they're a new character and you have to level up your shooting. So if you're just an average Joe, you're not going to be a great shot with a rifle, right? So maybe that's a factor in this game, and you have to, like, get better at shooting, maybe? But if the, uh, if the gun control and everything's good from the start, this person can't shoot for shit. Seriously, dude. You, you, uh, you're terrible. No control bursts, nothing. Now we're looting the house. The alarm's off now. And the police are on the way? Where the fuck are these guys? That looks like a Marauder truck for sure. The way it was, like, kitted out with the grills on the windows and stuff. What are we going to do here? Have we got... Are these other players coming in right now? And they've jacked the police car? Oh, they look like other players. That guy's not hiding very well. Looks like he's trying to enter the thing, but he's typing the code in wrong constantly. So then maybe this guy had the key card. Can they close that after them? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so close that after you hunker down. If there are players, and it is a sort of die and lose your loot situation, nice to know you can... Turn your flashlight on right now. Oh, it's over. Good lord, okay. Alright, that's it, I guess. That was exciting. That didn't seem like 30 minutes. That was, uh... I like that. That was good. So, uh, yeah, to sum up, guys, um, I thought that was really great. The gameplay looked great. Um, I like the having to repair your vehicles and maintain your vehicles. Definitely something that I think is a good addition to a survival game like this. Combat looked pretty good. Uh, the guy playing didn't seem like a great shot, but like I said in the reaction, um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to level up your gun abilities you know how how good you are at shooting um and lower your recoil as levels up go on maybe that's why get missing maybe maybe it's just terrible i don't know um but overall i think i'm definitely gonna be getting this game at release um i love the how um he had a player with them the entire time they look, look pretty kitted out from the beginning so obviously they played a bit before this but 
yeah, really looking forward to this, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you for the next trailer reaction.